everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Tiffany Benson one part of team Benson and I'm gonna do a garden tour for you guys because today my garden is finally starting to look like a garden again so you guys are gonna notice a couple of new things in my garden today and that's because I have been trying to keep out all of the little rodents that are digging up my yard. Um, I took a video before I started cleaning things and so that you guys could see what it looked like. So this is what it looked like. So this is what it looks like when I forget to put up the row covers. Peppers eaten and we have some really deep holes dug throughout my garden. They got half the squash. <laughs> and look at these deep holes. Just everywhere. Well, let's clean up a little bit and then I'll give you guys a tour. So those little rodents are absolutely killing me. <laughs> um, I am going to start taking some extreme measures for my garden. So I have chicken wire, which as you can probably see behind me, that I'm starting to layer or put a row behind the garden um, just so that it can have kind of like a barrier in between because I forgot to put out my shade cloth one night and that is what happened. Um, I also have some row covers that I'm using to hold up my shade cloth and if you guys haven't seen my video on my row covers and me putting them together I will link that one down below so that you can see it but I'm trying so hard not to just put out a trap and you know kill them <laughs> but I'm gonna try this out and I'm probably gonna put in a complaint to my HOA to be like hey guys do something about this so this is the time of year I love because my garden is all cleaned up <laughs> and I have empty pots but that's because I'm putting them where I want them to go so let's take a big tour so let's start up at the front. Um, this is going to be my new kitchen herb bed. Um, I'm very, very excited about it because I am growing herbs not only for myself, but I'm also growing herbs for my family. So like my extended family too as well. So I wanted something really, really big that was just dedicated to nothing but herbs. So here it is. It's my first bed um, that I normally have Swiss chard and greens and stuff like that in but this year I am turning it into 100% herbs now I only have three types of herbs in it so far I have some rosemary I have some sage and then I have some thyme that I just planted but I am going to be filling this entire bed with all different types of herbs I'm gonna have cilantro dill probably more thyme more different types of thyme because I love thyme and I use it on everything and probably another sage plant too as well so this bed is really empty, all but this one tomato plant. And that is because this is gonna be my bed that I'm going to use for all of my greens. It's still too hot to put out the greens, so this bed is just empty right now. And then also, there is one radish right here, and then that artichoke that I used to have a long time ago that I ripped out is now coming back. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I am homeschooling now, and I thought, what great way to homeschool than to actually give someone, a little one, a handful of radish seeds and let her just put them anywhere she wants to in my garden. So I probably should have thought that out better, but you know, radishes only take 20 days to come up, so I just let her do it because it won't kind of impede on anything that is actually coming up. And it's funny because I'm starting to get these little radishes just popping up everywhere. And at first I was like, what is this? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I gave a child a handful of radish seeds. So who knows where they're at? It's going to be like a fun surprise for her and also a fun surprise for me. So I suggest if you're homeschooling and you need something to do outside, that's something great. Now on the very back row over here, this is one of the areas that got attacked. <laughs> So these are some jalapenos that I got from the AZ Worm Farm. They had a dollar start sell. So the nice part is that it only cost me $4, but I am put in one of the uh, hoops and I'm gonna have some shade cloth over it so that hopefully that will protect it. I also picked up some super sweet tomatoes. These ones are cherry tomatoes and they're looking really, really good. They're not getting bothered. 
and then I have a basil plant here that I planted that basil plant got attacked so I will be planting another basil and then I have some little radishes popping up around here this is so super cool guys and fun and then my eggplant is finally starting to grow in some new leaves as you guys can see the eggplant died back got attacked by spider mites and it's finally starting to recover and grow in a lot more leaves this is my one shishito pepper that survived and I have these buckets empty because I plan to put in more shishito peppers over here. So right now in my garden, I'm in the planning phase of where everything is kind of going. I have a ton of things growing inside everywhere all over my house and I'm kind of saying, okay, well, this is what we're needing. This is what I'm cooking a lot. Um, this is what we like eating. This is what we liked from last season which I made notes in my journal. So I'm kind of planning where I'm putting all of those things. You'll see a lot of empty like little pots and that's because I am going to put out a ton of little carrot patches. So I'm taking big pots and I'm putting carrot seeds just in there. You can plant carrots really well in a pot. I've done it for several years now and all you have to do is get a pot that's deep enough to be able to, to, be able to have the roots, have enough room. And you can also plant smaller variety of carrots too as well, which I'll be planting a mix of long carrots and small carrots because we use a ton of those for soups. So this is what I mean by chicken wire everywhere. Now aesthetically this is not making me happy, but if it's going to protect my garden then I guess I'll have to do it. So I didn't finish it because I wanted you guys to see what I'm doing and rolling, unrolling chicken wire is exhausting but I'm just putting it on the perimeter of the garden bed and hopefully that will keep it safe. Now in here, I have some cherry tomatoes. Or actually, no, those are ground cherries here and here. There were four of them, but you know, they got dug up for funsies. And then I have some noodle beans that are coming in. And then I had to replant a lot of my um, bush beans, but luckily these grow back fast. They got attacked a little bit by some spider mites, but I actually used some peppermint oil um, to kind of put on those, and now they are starting to recover. And then I have a bell pepper right in the very back. Right here, I have one of my two Malabar spinach. This is a beautiful plant, guys. This one's smaller than the other one, but when I get to the other one, you're gonna see how big and beautiful it is. Now moving along, I have my two okras here. And then in the very back, I have beef or big beef tomatoes, which those ones are going to grow up these um, little trellises here. I have a yellow squash. You know, I planted two of them and they came in together and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to leave it just on the chance that the rodent gets it. And it did. It got this one back here. So I'm just going to leave it, see how it goes. And then I have the bell over there too as well. Now guys, look at how beautiful this is. This is the bigger of the Malabar spinach. It gets a lot more sun and it is just really beautiful and healthy. Now I wanted a spinach that I could grow throughout the uh, summer. And everybody told me that Malabar spinach is one that really, really holds up when it starts getting hot. So I'm pretty excited about trying this out. I'm gonna grow it up these poles on each side. So I'm gonna put some chicken wire over there. I feel like my whole garden's gonna be covered in chicken wire by the end of this. <laughs> but it's very useful and hopefully it's gonna keep these rodents out. Here's hoping. But I think it's going to be really pretty having the Malabar spinach grow up these. Now guys, I have been looking on Instagram a lot, which if you guys don't follow me, my Instagram's right down there. I am, and I have been looking for Malabar spinach plants to see how they kind of grow. Um, I don't know if one plant's going to be enough to really make this look full. I want it to be kind of full but I'm not sure if one plant's gonna be enough. So if you guys have grown Malabar spinach, put it down in the comments, like let me know how many I should have in order for this pole right here to look pretty full, whether I should have one or two. Cause right now I'm growing one and I'm not sure if there's space for two. So let me know what you think. Now also over here I have my tasty green cucumbers that are growing up this side of the arch and they're gonna trellis all the way up, which is going to be beautiful in a couple of weeks. And then I have my Kentucky Wonders over there. I grow those every single year, and those are gonna trellis this year up an arch. 
this one in the middle it's going to be on a Mardi crop I have to pull my Mardi crop ring out here but this one is a black cherry tomato and it is going to go in between my um, broccoli plants now I don't have the broccoli plants out here quite yet because it's too hot but they're going to be on both sides I'm going to plant two side two plants each on the side of this um, cherry tomato plant now I started some lemongrass inside, but I went to Home Depot and saw that there were a lot of lemongrass seeds, or a lot, of, a lot of lemongrass like stalks that were in here. And I realized that I should have probably planted more than one seed at a time. So I bought this, and then I'm gonna put the other lemongrass, lemongrass starts that I started in here too as well. I'm also going to be planting out my medicinal bed this week, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've dug around in it, and it's been dug up by the rodent a couple times, so I know that the, the soil is good and composted in there. Now I have some bean plants that have suffered a little bit from the sun and a little bit of spider mites, but they are starting to grow new leaves. I put some peppermint oil on those two as well, and they're doing well. My beta alphas are starting to make its climb, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now the storm took out this side of the bed. It left these ones, so I have some dragon tail bush beans over there, but these ones, they got tangled up in the, um, in the shade cloth, and so those ones got sacrificed. So I'm gonna be planting some more seeds in there. Actually, I think they're already in there. I'm just waiting for them to pop up and grow. This side also got taken out by the storm. They got tangled up in the shade cloth too as well, but I planted some more seeds, so as you can see, they're starting to pop up. But this midget cantaloupe, guys, is doing really, really well. I originally had two in here, and one got eaten, so I planted another one, and it's funny because the seed that I planted a long time ago is starting to pop up too, I just noticed. So hopefully I can get like two midget cantaloupes up here, because I want this to be nice and full and pretty. So this is the start of my medicinal garden. I have a bunch of different things here. I'm not going to go through them because I don't have my book, and I, so I don't remember which ones are which, but I'm going to be planting these out this week, and then I will go over what I have going on in my medicinal garden later on this week for you guys. Guys, I am beyond excited for my medicinal garden. I think it's gonna be so nice to have just medicine growing in my backyard, and I have everything that can cure colds, flus, headaches, upset stomachs, um, digestive issues, all those different things. And that's just a start. I have a couple of more seeds going on the inside that didn't germinate right the first time, so I'm trying them differently to germinate them. So I'm just, I'm so, so excited about that. If you guys don't know, I am doing a giveaway. Once we hit 2.5K subscribers, I will be giving away a packet of seeds of all the medicinal herbs that I have collected. So you guys will be able to plant your own medicinal gardens and grow your own medicine too as well. So lastly, I have this little area that has my lime tree. And guys, the lime tree is really starting to put on some limes. Let me show you guys. We have some here, some over here. We have some back in there. Now this thing is pokey, so I don't wanna get all the way into it, but it's starting to put out a lot of limes and they're starting to grow. Now in my trays, my towers, I have some beans going and then I have a um, rattle tail radish or dragon tail radish going that I think I'm gonna have to plant those inside because they're not liking really the sun but both of them have beans on the top and then the plan is to be able to put flowers down in the bottom so I hope you guys are enjoying your garden as much as I am enjoying mine I am going to head inside give myself a little bit of break I have some fresh mint that I've been growing inside actually grew <laughs> but I'm gonna make some mint tea and just enjoy the rest of my Sunday so until next time grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food bye guys